hi all in this whole series we'll be learning javascript and the reason is pretty simple because javascript rocks and it's very simple to learn as well so if you are using your smartphone to view a website or your android or any other phone it's gonna run some javascript to view or process some of your website components so all this might wonder you but don't worry so once we get into the subject you'll get to know what is javascript all about and how easy it is to learn so javascript basically adds function to your website to your html and css which are used as basic starts to build your website so as a prerequisite to learn javascript you'll have to have hands-on basic web languages like uh, html as well as css so let's just get started without any delay so what is javascript so javascript allows you to make your web pages very much interactive so this you'll get to know in the sample web page that i'll show you at the end of this powerpoint presentation and most likely javascript is an interpreted language which means like each and every syntax is declared or defined within the web browser so it doesn't need to be compiled like uh, any other high level language like java or c and more appropriately we can say it is a lightweight language so this is interpreted by the browser when the page is loaded and another really important thing to understand is that javascript runs on the client's computer or more appropriately we can say a web browser so you just save your uh, file with the with the extension js and you call it in your html page and you run it in your browser so whereas uh, some other server side languages like php ruby ruby or rails uh, these all run on the server somewhere else so uh, with this it proves that this makes things easier because we don't need any specialized server to be configured to run it on. So and more likely JavaScript allows the user to interact with the web page. So it allows the user to give input. So if you give some, uh, if you click on the web page it alerts you and uh, not only some inputs, uh, when you give some inputs it also gives some outputs or some actions that you declare in your uh, javascript file so javascript is prototype based instead of class based so this will be able to analyze and understand uh, when we go deeper into the subject so for now javascript is just a scripting language and uh, javascript supports scripts programs that are written uh, like uh, for special runtime environment so these automate the execution of tasks so this is why uh, JavaScript is called a scripting language. So Java, JavaScript is also meant to be a loosely typed language. So in C or C++ or Java, we use data types or uh, any other things like uh, character, int, all that. So JavaScript doesn't use any of these data types like character, int, like we use in C, C++. So just with these few points, it's clarified that JavaScript cannot be compared with any other languages like C, C++ or Java. So let's get to know further more about JavaScript. Let's move on. So JavaScript and HTML both serve together, but they cannot be compared. Uh, HTML is a markup language, so it is only used to design your web page. Uh, it is used for processing and defining uh, your text that's it nothing other than that whereas your javascript file allows you to interact with the with the web page that you develop with your html so html is only to format the layout as well as a style whereas javascript is a scripting language so interactiveness is defined how the page responds to the user which can be achieved by the JavaScript. So with JavaScript, you can create cookies, validate forms, create animations, uh, slideshows, build apps and whatnot. So despite of all these pros, there are some limitations of JavaScript. So these can be rectified using JavaScript, which you can learn in the tutorials from other videos available in my channel, Tech Guru. So do subscribe our channel. It's gonna help you if you want to become a web developer. 
Now let's get to know about DOM. So DOM is nothing but document object model which is nothing but a HTML tree structure. So before knowing about JavaScript, HTML is a prerequisite. So you must be knowing the basic tree structure of HTML tags which together make a document. So let me show you something before getting into, before getting deeper into what is uh, DOM and all that. So it's a basic structure of a HTML document. So you create a HTML document with all these prerequisite tags that you use so this is the html open and html close tags inside which you have a head inside which you have title scripts uh, some style tags so inside this you write your stylings inside this you write your scripts and uh, inside body you write some anchor tags paragraph tags uh, and as well as some heading tags so what is this all about so this is a cross pl platform and uh, language independent application programming interface so this treats a uh, html document as a tree structure wherein each node that i've shown you now is an object representing a part of the document so it's a significant design point in javascript that it can access to the document object model used in another web browser as well so the DOM is a data structure in a web browser used to manage the documents viewed and uh, used on the browser as well. So you'll get to know about it deeper uh, when you get into these concepts, programming fundamentals of JavaScript like variables, arrays, loops, conditionals, comparisons and operators, objects, functions, data types, prototypes, events, program flow. So all this together uh, you'll get you'll get to write inside a html document as well as you can use some external javascript file created so that you'll get to know when we get deeper into the subject so to run javascript you need any modern web browser like google chrome firefox safari internet explorer apart from these there are many more and to create uh, you need any text editor like notepad sublime text uh, text mate notepad plus plus or any other thing which you are comfortable with so let's just get started let's create something interesting so this is a website that i've created a simple web page in which you have some actions so if i need to track of how many times I have clicked this button it is possible with JavaScript so on click of this button this shows some some alert box and on click of this button it says something like reveal me it shows some hidden text content here and it asks me who are you so if I click on this enter here it asks me something a prompt box so I can enter my name here and I press on OK. It says, Hello Jaya, how are you? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, then you have a image here and you can on click of this, the text is hidden back. So this is something which is interesting, right? So all these things you can create using JavaScript. So the main purpose of JavaScript is to manipulate the web page elements and to make them dynamic. So just imagine a web page that contains only text content. You can just read it and you can uh, not even click on the link move or move to the next page. So the interaction with the page would be limited. So what if you would like to uh, click on a button like this and uh, on click of some button it should reveal some text like this or it should show some prompt box like this and when you enter something it shows you some a message or link to another part of a page or any other thing else so javascript would allow you to do all these things so therefore javascript is a programming language that is run by most of the modern web browsers like mozilla firefox chrome ie or any other so it supports object oriented programming and procedural programming so it can be used uh, to control web pages on client side of the browser, server side programs and even some of the mobile applications or some of the most of the. So JavaScript is not a programming language in strict sense. 
instead it is a scripting language because it uses the browser to do the work so for example if you command an image to be replaced by another one so for example here i have an image and it should be replaced by another one so you command so javascript tells the browser to go and do it because the browser actually does the work you only need to pull some strings by writing some relatively easy lines of code that i have written here so i'll show you those very easy lines of code in a very simple manner so that you can master javascript so let's see this practically but before we get into this uh, we need some add-on in our browser which is called firebug so let me show you how to install it so in Firefox web browser, you have a sandwich bar here. Just click on that, which says add-ons. Just click on that. You'll be taken to a page like this. On the right-hand side, you'll find get add-ons and extensions. Just click on extensions. So you can click on the search bar, which says search all add-ons. Type Firebug there and click enter. Here you can find Firebug. So just click on install and there it is. It will be installed on your browser and you can see it right here. This is just a developer tool uh, which a web developer uses it when coding on the browser. So guys be ready with this add-on Firebug add-on installed on your browser. And please do subscribe to my channel Tech Guru. I'll be keeping on posting my videos and you can learn JavaScript in a very easy and simple way. Thank you.